Manila, President Rodrigo Duterte bared Friday that he is bent on procuring at least seven new helicopters for the Philippine Air Force PAF. Duterte's plan came after a O-1HUE combat utility aircraft helicopter crashed in Impasigong, Bukidnon on January 16, killing five military personnel and two militiamen. In a speech delivered in Jolo, Sulu, he expressed his intent to decommission all the PAF's UE helicopters to protect soldiers against possible plane crashes. Marami pa bayang UE nayan? Nawan? Hindi, Palatin ko na sana. Mano na palaga yan, luma na, how many UE helicopters do we still have? I want those replaced. They are already outdated, Dudert said. He said he had already entered into a deal for the procurement of new helicopters. He, however, did not elaborate on the agreement. Magpabili Seguro Eko Engine Ganyan, Pito, OK Na Young Pamphlet Sa Ano, He Young Huey Cargo. Maroon Kasi Dune Deal, I will buy six or seven helicopters to replace the Huey Cargo helicopters. I already had a deal, Peter said. The PAF has already grounded all of its Huey helicopters following the crash in Bukidney. The L1H and L1D models, or Hueys, are Vietnam War era helicopters that have been refurbished to serve as the PAF's main workhorses. The Huey helicopter that crashed in Bukidnon went on a supply mission to a patrol base in the province but encountered engine trouble after taking off from Malaybalay City. The latest plane crash was the fourth incident reported in six months, three involving Huey helicopters. Killed in the crash were Lt. Col. Arnie Arroyo, pilot, Second Lieutenant Mark Anthony Cabe, co-pilot, Sergeant Mervyn Bursick, Airman First Class Stephen Agarado, Sergeant Julius Salvato, Jerry Aokto, and Jamal Sugalan. Painful Duter said he wants to procure new helicopters for soldiers because it is painful to see them die in the line of duty. These are all things screwing my mind Kasi Young recent crash, Masakt in Katalaga, because the recent crash is too painful for me, he said. The president promised to find funds for the purchase of new aircraft. I am not making any hard promises. But you can rest assured, I will try my best to look for money para pallet in Koyung Dalumana, so I can replace the old helicopters, he said. The PAF has earlier commissioned the first six of 16 Polish-made Sikorsky S-70i Black Hawk helicopters it ordered in 2019 as part of its program to modernize its fleet of helicopters. The remaining 10 units are expected to arrive in the country within the first quarter of 2021. The brand new Black Hawk helicopters, manufactured by PZL Milek, a Lockheed Martin Sikorsky company in Poland, will provide the PAF with sustained day and night tactical lift, transport, and search and rescue capabilities. The Philippine government purchased the helicopters under the USD 241.5 million government-to-government -government contract with Poland to meet the Horizon 2 phase of the revised armed forces of the Philippines Modernization Program. PNA.